Many problems take the idea of finding a maximum or a minimum of a quadratic function and put it in the context of a word problem. These aren't too bad as long as you remember to use the formula x equals negative b all over 2a. This will find the vertex of the parabola and essentially help you find that min or max. Let's look at an example of one of these word problems and see how it's used. In this word problem, we have a cattle rancher who wants to fence in an area that's next to a river. They only have 600 meters of fencing, and they would also like to divide it into two sections like the diagram below. So some things you want to note about this diagram is one, since it is along the river, we don't need any fencing along that edge. So we essentially have one, two, three short pieces and one long piece. The big question is, uh, what is the maximum area that we can actually enclose under these given conditions? So let's work on this problem a bit, see how we can set it up, and actually find out where the uh, formula, negative b over 2a, comes into play. So when looking at this setup, I have some sort of river. Of course, we are enclosing it in this fenced area. So we might call these little short pieces x, and maybe the long one we will call y. Well, the only thing we know right now is that the amount of fencing, 600, uh, must equal all of these uh, pieces put together. So I have three of my short pieces, or 3x, plus one long piece, y. Hmm, now by itself, that does, does not look quadratic. Well, I also want to keep in mind that I'm looking for the maximum area. So the area of this shape would equal the uh, width and the length multiplied together, or x times y. Now if I can put these two things together, uh, I can actually form a quadratic. Here's the idea. I have an x times y over here, and I have some x's and y's over here. We're going to solve this one for y and put it into the area. So 600 minus 3x is equal to y. We'll go ahead and put it right in there for y. So area is equal to x multiplied by 600 minus 3x. There we go. Now continuing to uh, multiply through, I get x times 600 minus 3x squared. Let's go ahead and rearrange the terms so that our power is from largest to smallest. So negative 3x squared plus 600x. All right, so from my given conditions, I've set up a quadratic function here. Now, what we want to do is figure out where's the maximum area, or where's the maximum of this quadratic function. So we'll use x equals negative b all over 2a to find out. Our values that we'll pick out for this, the negative 3 will be the a, and the 600 will be the b. So I have negative 600 all over 2 times a negative 3. So 600 negative divided by negative 6, or 100. So since I'm using x uh, uh, for the lengths of my small sides and it equals 100, it tells me that uh, our fencing so far looks like this. Every side, these little short sides, 100 each. And that will leave us 300 meters of fencing for the last side. So I could say that the uh, short side, or short pieces, are 100 meters each. The long side, 300 meters. Now to finally answer the question, uh, what is the maximum area, I can go all the way back to my area formula and see that I need to multiply the 100 by the 300. So max area would be 30,000 meters squared. Uh, so just like that, uh, using the formula negative b over 2a, you can quickly find the maximum of your quadratic function.